Hi, I am Dr. Rasya Dikshit from Dr. Dikshit Clinic, Bangalore. I am a dermatologist in private practice from the last 18 years. We are all living in the age of Instagram where we are expected to look a certain way, very groomed on a daily basis. This has made it more aspirational for more people to go for procedures on the hair. It could be hair coloring, it could be blow dry, it could be keratin or it could be dehydrating the hair by using perming treatments which are all salon based chemical treatments to help the hair to look a particular way. In addition to this, people are also using a lot of styling products at home as well as blow drying at home or ironing the hair at home to look a particular way. So when these treatments do help the person to feel a lot more confident, remember they are damaging the keratin which is present in the hair. Hair is a substance which is actually a keratin which has come out of the scalp so it is no longer living. So when it is chronically being damaged either by physical means by using heat or by chemical means by using some chemicals it could be hair color or hair straightening products the keratin and the cuticles are undergoing chronic stress and over a period of time they are going to end up more dehydrated more dull looking and very easily breakable so yes this is going to cause some amount of hair loss though not at the level of the scalp but lot of breakage of the hair and lot of pain to your heart because you know, obviously hair is something that most of us love and cherish. So what is the treatment that you should definitely reduce the frequency? Coloring the hair, keep it to as infrequently as possible. If you have to do a global hair touch-up, make sure that it is not more than once a year. Remember, when you remove the hair color, when you strip the hair color, this happens when you are trying to use a very light color on dark colored hair, like hair bleaching. Those are going to dehydrate your hair quite a bit. So reduce that frequency to less than once in a year. Also, hair straightening procedures, maybe hair Botox or hair keratin treatment, again, not more than once a year. Blow drying, especially when you're putting too much heat on the hair, reduce the frequency as less as possible. And remember, you have to keep using the particular shampoo, which are pH balanced, sulfate free which are recommended for whatever hair treatment that you have done so if you have done a coloring you have to use a color protect shampoo and conditioner always use a good conditioner and always leave a leave-on serum on your hair to prevent the hair from drying out when you are traveling outside make sure that you're covering your hair with a scarf so that there is no drying out or static which is happening because of wind blowing through your hair and remember to take your hair multivitamins and eat a good diet rich in protein as well as omega-3 fatty acids to keep the hair health good. If you experience massive shedding of hair after a particular treatment or you're worried about breakage of hair, it is important to go to a dermatologist who can do an examination of the scalp using a machine called a trichoscope. This will help us identify what is the cause of hair thinning or hair loss and then they can advise you on the treatment thereafter. So speak to your dermatologist about your hair care concerns. 